Hey, good morning, folks. Steve here. Hey, uh, just um, wanted to shoot a quick video in the fact that uh, a few people have requested, hey, you know, what about uh, being on a job site as opposed to just hanging out in my backyard, which is where it's easy to film because I don't have any time constraints. I'm on a job site getting ready to uh, uh, do some plumbing, actually, uh, prior to tile. And so here I am, uh, roadside. Unfortunately, I can't get any closer to the house because my buddy is there with his two trailers, and so I can't get any closer so I'm kind of running back and forth it's not a big deal though because I'm outside at the moment um in the aisle I have my tile box because I anticipated tile today but we have plumbing to do prior to tile so we won't be tiling until tomorrow but here I am I'm not plugged in or anything I just pulled in dropped the hatch and starting to assemble a pedestal sink at the moment so there you go on the job site maybe I'll follow up a little bit later if I get anything else set up today um, and what we're doing is we have a double bathroom that we're remodeling. It's probably like a three-quarter remodel. Uh, it's not a complete gut and put back. All right, there you go. We'll see if I shoot any more today. Hey, howdy folks. Steve here. Uh, buddy just left and took the uh, dump trailer with him. Uh, it's not really a dump trailer. It's a utility trailer that we use for dumping. And his uh, tool trailer is still on site. He's been here all week. I'm just doing weekends because I'm teaching during the week. So he's full-time. I'm part-time at this point. So he gets first dibs on parking close to the uh, um, parking close to the garage there. In any case, though, I'm over here. And <clears throat> I just pulled in side of the road today. And I believe I shot a video a little bit earlier as far as just, hey, tool trailer on the site. So, hey, again, tool trailer on the site. So, what I have done is, let me kind of walk in. Well, doesn't matter. All right, so um, what I've done is uh, today we... Well, he was working on plumbing all day. What I did was, it was uh, supplies to uh, a kind of a back-to-back -back shower, shower tub. And so I was putting up the remainder of the drywall, and they left me all the dick cuts. <laughs> That's what I get for being part-time. So I show up, most of the drywall is done, but all the little, you know, the taper here, and then it's got to go up into there, and then it's got to come down and wrap back around. It's like, thanks, guys, thanks. Way to test my measurement skills. So today was like one big pop quiz on how to measure. So... <laughs> Uh, I did that, then I had to put the hardy board in, and the hardy board, I just had to do where he was plumbing, so it was simply the, the face wall, where all of the, where your valve ha valve and diverter are, and the, so, I, I start measuring for this, so, you know, we're, thir we're 33 out, I think, uh, for the shower, and we're 33 out for the tub, and so I start measuring, and the, um, uh, I have, in the first piece, so I'm, I'm going three wide because I'm cutting it to 33 inches, and then five tall, which covers almost the whole way. Then we have a, a short piece up at the top there. And so I'm, I'm having to lay out for the shower. It was, of course, or the main valve, you know, your mixer. And then above that, you get your diverter. And then over on the side, you get your nipple and discussion area for your handheld and that'll be on a sliding bar, but that's where that's going to couple into. So that was the first one, you know, lay it all out. <clears throat> and I was off on one, like one whole inch off. So my hole was high and I had to go and kind of carve it out. So I was embarrassed. Uh, so I got that, got the top one in with a single hole for the shower head itself. Go around to the other side and the piece that I cut has four holes in it. Um, so you have the tub spout, mixer, diverter. And then in that piece also is your uh, the nipple for your uh, handheld. So, you know, layout skills were tested today. And this one I nailed. I was very proud. I, I set that one in there. I was like, ooh, take a picture of that one. <laughs> Everything was right center. It was <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> and that doesn't happen as often as I was like. So, you know, I was happy. And then top piece with just a single hole for the shower head. So that's what I was doing all day today. I was just dinking around with the dinking around parts uh, that no one else wanted to do during the week. All right. Well, anyway, then come in. I have you know, just kind of taking tools out as I need them. So I kind of bring them all out in mass, set them down, try and blow them off with a blower because I'm not plugged into power. So I do not have my compressor. So I just uh, clean them off as much as I can. I'm doing everything by flashlight here uh, because, I'm, again, not plugged into shore power. 
But getting everything, everything put away and ready for the day tomorrow. So when I open this trailer up, I am just ready to go. I don't have a mess. I have to drive a couple of miles to get home anyway. But I don't want to open this thing up and have a mess. And it's just so easy to put stuff away. You know, he, he's been gone 15, 20 minutes. I took 10 minutes to put the stuff away. It wasn't that much uh, to put it away. So I'm just, again, tool, tool trailer on the job, in the dark, and there you go, a tool trip. Now, um, I didn't have anything set up outside, really. I had a work workbench that I was using today because I was just doing some cuts. But other than that, there was no real big setup, and so there was no need to kind of film the area I was working. I was constantly in and out uh, the whole day. And on future jobs, if I do have the time, like, you know, everyone's gone now, so I have the time to shoot a video. But during the day, things are hopping and popping, and we're not a YouTube video making construction co crew. Uh, the two and two and a half of us, because we kind of have a, another employee now. I haven't met him yet. We've, he's been on two weeks. I hadn't met him. Uh, apparently, he doesn't work weekends. Again, cleaned up. I know I have a couple of buckets in the aisle that make it a little bit messy, and I got a couple of things on the countertop, but it really is just all put back together. Really happy to have this on a job site and have the ability to only be 25 steps away from the front porch. That's not a bad thing. All right, hey, take care, and I'll see you whenever the next video is. This is a very brisk late November, you know, right around Thanksgiving kind of a day here, 2021. So don't know when this video will go up, but there you have it. All right, so here we are still on the job and had to button up a little bit because of the rain. However, have one of these pop-up tents, compliments of the new guy, actually, third member of our team. And so I'm set up underneath here, cutting tile, little station there, and just uh this is what we're doing my trailer is still way over there i pulled in again at the same place and everything's buttoned up of course because of the rain so that's what we have going on today today is all about tile so there you go on the job site with the trailer and me <laughs> thanks <laughs>